Today we're in San Luis Obispo. We're at Laguna Middle School, home of the Lancers, and today we're here to... Well, today we're at Laguna Middle School in San Luis Obispo. We've got seventh grade student Landis with us. And how are you today? Really, really good. You're really good? You really look good. like you're ready to compare some numbers. I am. All right. Let's go with this. How about, would you like to compare fractions or decimals? Fractions. Fractions. Excellent. So what we'll do is uh, we'll go right here. We'll go right here. Mm -hmm. Now, the symbols that you're going to have an option to put in between here, if you're comparing numbers, do you know what those symbols are called? Yes. What are they? Greater than, less than, equal to. Right. And why don't you go ahead and put the three symbols over there and tell us as you write them what they okay. are. Okay. This is less than, right? Are you guessing or you don't? <laughs> I, I know it. This is greater than and this is equal to. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> this is what? Less than. Greater oh. than. Greater than. So if you want to, you can just put a little G right there okay. if you want. Oh, yeah. So this is less, this is greater. Right. So this is greater than. Mm -hmm. Right, so I yes. would say 4 is greater than 2. Right? Okay, yeah. So this is less than. Mm -hmm. And this is equal, right? Mm -hmm. Do you remember when you were in uh, younger grades that they ever have you guys with this, like pretending it was like some sort of an animal eating yeah. the larger <laughs> number, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you remember it's always open to the greater number. One way to remember it. Okay, so we're going to compare two fractions, all right? You are going to provide all the numbers. I will put them where I want. Okay. 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 So I don't care what number you give me. Uh, Nothing over two digits. Hmm. We won't make it too hard for you. 83. 83? 42. Okay. 23. <laughs> Can do that. Wait, okay. You can't put them anywhere. I put them. You only <laughs> say them. That was the deal, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, 73. All right. You've got some nice numbers to work with. Ooh, okay. <laughs> um. So how are you going to go about this problem, first of all? What are you trying to do first? Um, you have to figure out which one is greater, if they're equal, or, yeah. <laughs> okay. So first you have to make the denominator the same. Well, you can do that. There's also a way that we can do this a little bit easier, because to find the common denominator between 83 and 73, you're probably just going to have to multiply those together, yes. which is going to be a very large number, all right? <laughs> what we could also do is we could estimate this, mm -hmm. okay? So one thing I would suggest is maybe estimating. 23 is about what? 20. It's about 20, right? And 83 is about? 80. 80. Now, if we had 20 over 80, what would that simplify to, do you know? 2 over 8. Well, it would be 2 over 8, and if you wanted to simplify it even more, what would that be? 1 over 4. Okay, so why don't you just put 1 over 4 under here. Okay. So we know that that estimates to be 1 fourth. Yeah. You agree with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Why don't you estimate this? Okay, so this changes to 40 to 70. Okay. Then I want to do even more. It goes to 4 over Seven. Perfect. Now, there are some students going to be watching and they're going, well, how do you get to 4 and 7? Because we could see that you divided each of these by 20 and then you, mm -hmm. you went down. What did you do here? I just got rid of the 0. Right. Just get rid of the 0 and you have 4 over 7. So why don't yeah. you go ahead and write 4 over 7 down here as your estimate. Now, if we have 1 fourth, mm -hmm. okay, is that more or less than half? It's less than half. It's less than half. If we have 4 out of 7, because 4 isn't going to go evenly into 7, so mm -hmm. 4 would be about half of what? 7. It's going to be more than. It's going to be more than half, right? Because yeah. what is half of 7? Um, Do you know offhand? 3. <laughs> three <laughs> and, and a half. 3 and a half, exactly. So this is less than half. Yeah. And that is? More than half. So what symbol could we put in there? So which one of these fractions? All right. So let's go back to the original problem, put the symbol up here, and then if you would read that problem for us. Okay, 23 over 83 is less than 42 over 73. There you go. And you did that using estimation, so we didn't have to go ahead and multiply and get those big numbers, right? <laughs> Landis, nicely done. Perfect. 